Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Welcome to any new uh, guests that we have with us tonight. So uh, tonight we're going to tie uh, a vintage sort of streamer pattern from uh, the United States. Uh, so this one is the Big Hole Demon number one. Uh, so I think this is from Montana Fly of the Year 1964 or something like that as its claim to fame. Uh, so it was tied from a size 2 down, so this is a size 2 and it's a vintage Mustad uh, 3665 streamer hook. And I'm going to use a black thread. So, put on our thread and I'm just going to take it down the body. As you can see I'm using my fingers to guide the turns as we go and that just allows me to speed up as we go down. So uh, an unusual sort of a fly uh, which is what attracted me to it so it has a, a tail of badger hackle. So I'm going to take two here uh, because it just seems right to me balance wise so I'm taking two hackles back to back here and I'm going to set them in just round about the bend here, hold them in place and then I'll wrap back to to meet them and that will set my tail in place. So I'm stripping these stalks here, I suppose I should have done it before we started. Um, and I'm going to wrap forward for the rear section of this fly is a silver tinsel it's unclear from the illustration as to whether that's a wide oval or whether it's a flat I'm going to use flat because it seems to be a very thin section We're going to go roughly, roughly halfway with that. Then turn it off. So we're going to do a silver tinsel body. So I'm going to use a vintage uh, metal silver tinsel here. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of a taper in it to start it off. And I'm going to tie it in at the front of the section that I intend to do go backwards and come back over it. So the first turn you should always sort of watch that uh, it doesn't snap. Now I'm actually starting off that first turn ahead of the section that I intend to have as a silver body. The front section of the fly will be uh, black uh, chenille so that will cover up any blemishes I suppose in our tie-ins or tie-offs. So I'm taking my tinsel back now back to the point of the tail and then start it coming forward as you can see then the fact that we had a silver tinsel underbody as such to lay over this means that even if there is slight gaps you won't see them or shouldn't see them hopefully I'll not see this until I edit it I suppose so I'm now coming over where my start end point was. A couple of wraps because it doesn't matter, we're covering it over. And tie that in. And tie backwards. Trim that off and then I'm just going to use my nail to force that down because uh, these vintage metal tinsels can cut your thread very easily. So this fly had a hackle of silver badger as well. So I'm just having a look here as to what suits. I'm using a white badger saddle cape here. I'm just going to measure it for length. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use one that gradates into black uh, just for effect I think. For me it will suit, so I'm just going to check my 
uh, called fiber size by setting it up on the fly and letting it perform a turn. And uh, we'll put on that tight at the rear here. It doesn't have a, a rib as such, which is uh, not overly secure. It's not to protect it against the trout's teeth. So I suppose if you were tying this, this is tied uh, with a view of framing type fly or something to, to keep but if you're going to fish this I guess it would probably be sensible these days to add in a rib or add in a even you put in a clear nylon rib and counter rib this um, just for added security so we'll just wrap that back onto our silver portion a little bit trim and then take our chenille so we're going to tie this in. Now chenille by its nature is quite thick so either you're going to have to peel a bit of core and tie it in on that or tie it full length. I'm just going to take it slightly back of where the intended front wrap will be and I'll wrap this the whole way back and therefore I have an even spread of tie-in uh, thickness. Tie back to the rear and take our tie-in thread forward. Now we'll wrap on that chenille. Body section. Now this is a vintagey sort of cottony type uh, chenille. I suppose modern synthetic chenilles are a bit more fuzzy fibers. Take that to the front there. Tie it in. We'll trim that off and then unpick that down to its core. And then I'll pull that down and get a couple of turns over just the core and that will give me extra security in the tie off but also be neater because it's not as thick as when it was already wrapped. So. In the vintage keeping, I'm going to use vintage uh, hackle pliers here. Hopefully they don't bust the hackle on me. And I'm going to palmer this badger hackle up and so now it's coming to the front I'm gonna hopefully get one full turn maybe two at the front here just for to even out the look of it and I tie it off fold the start back Check that I have no fibers caught there. Pull all my fibers back, and now we're going to create a head. So the advantage of making all your tie-ins as neat as possible is that then the head is as small as possible so now I can choose to make the head bigger if I choose to whereas a lot of people especially when you start off you cram the eye and you get too much materials in there and you end up with a massive head that you can't 
do anything. You, know, you can't make heads smaller, but you can make them bigger. So if you start off with a, as small a head as possible, you can then choose to build it up to whatever size you want. So let's tie it off. All that remains now is to varnish that. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get a coat of clear varnish on that. Let that dry in, and then when it's dried off, we get a second one. And a third or whatever else it needs. It may even need a coat of black just to even it out. But uh, finishing heads is a technique all of its own. I actually do have a video somewhere of uh, of finishing heads. But that is our uh, big hole demon number one streamer fly. An unusual vintage type streamer. So if you liked what you've seen guys uh, Give us a like, a subscribe, leave some comments, tell your friends. Uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.